When Hazel heard Theo's apology, she was a bit surprised. She shook her head, and her mouth curved into a smile. Idiot. What are you apologizing for? She said. This battle between Sophia and me has been going on for a long time. Even if she hadn't kidnapped me this time, she would still have found another way to hurt me. However, I didn't think that she wanted to hurt me that badly. You don't realize how hard it was for me to hold on while she did those things. But I firmly believed that you would come, so I was able to endure it. Hazel gave him a sad smile as she recalled her feelings on that day. Once Sophia had her tied up, she really hadn't known what to do. But every time she thought about giving up, there was a voice in her heart saying that Theo would come and save her. This thought gave her pause, however. She didn't know when she'd become so reliant on him. No matter what kind of difficulty she had found herself in lately, the first person she would think of was Theo. Have I really fallen for Theo? She wondered. Aren't you curious about what happened to the Fisher family in the end? Theo asked Hazel out of the blue. She was surprised. Theo wasn't just talking about Sophia. Did he take on the whole Fisher family to avenge me? She wondered worriedly. I had thought that you would only take revenge on Sophia. Did you go after her family as well? If so, she must be twice as miserable as I thought, she said to him. Hazel smiled bitterly. She wondered how Sophia's family had reacted. She knew that sometimes in a wealthy family, if a child brought shame upon them, they would disown her. She wondered if the Fishers had kicked Sophia out of the house. Theo said, They deserved it. Sophia has always been a spoiled brat and made poor choices. It's her father's fault for always giving in to her. You don't need to blame yourself. I was the one who threatened them. He hadn't wanted to release the people who had hurt Hazel. He had waited to decide what to do with them until he found whether Hazel would recover. Fortunately for them, she survived. He felt merciful and had let them go once he knew that she would regain her sight. Theo didn't tell Hazel that Fiona had offered herself to him. It had been annoying. Although he would never consider accepting such an offer, if Hazel ever found out... It might put her in a bad mood. For the time being, Sophia was living in her family's house. Although Peter's company had declared bankruptcy, the house was owned by Sophia's mother, so they hadn't lost their home. Sophia had been let out of jail on bail, and her life was uncertain. All the members of the Fisher family were worried about their futures. Bella Sharp had been the one to bring Sophia home. Once she delivered her, she had gone straight home to avoid seeing anyone else in the Fisher family. The sight of Bella near their home infuriated Fiona. She considered Bella a threat to her hope of a life with Theo and couldn't believe her sister was still associating with her. As soon as Sophia walked in the door, Fiona began taunting her. The damaged daughter returns. How can you even show your face here? Thanks to you, our family is in ruins. If it had been me, I would have died before coming back here, Fiona said. Sophia didn't reply. Instead, she began to walk to her room. She was already plotting to go after Hazel again. She knew she would have to be patient. Eventually, her connections in the underworld would become available. In the meantime... All she could do was hunker down and make plans, since she had no money and nobody else to help her. Fiona saw that Sophia was ignoring her, so she became even angrier and shouted, What are you hoping to do now? Don't think you can be the same woman you were before. You're going to have to work to support the family now. No one in this family wants you around. You're an embarrassment. These words triggered Sophia, and she shouted back, Fiona, just shut up! Do you think you're any better? 
Your strategy to save our family was to offer yourself up to Theo, and he rejected you. Talk about embarrassing. Did you really think you're even in the same league as Bella Sharp? Huh? I guess you know better now. Fiona looked at her sister with disgust. After her release, Sophia had planned to beg Theo to rethink his demand that Peter declare bankruptcy. Sophia had always relied on her looks to get what she wanted. She may have a big chest, but she doesn't have a brain in her head, Fiona thought. She knew it wouldn't be that easy. Theo was not the kind of man who paid attention to a woman's looks. Fortunately, Fiona had long before decided not to depend on others, and had worked hard to earn money for herself. However, this had resulted in a need to get more and more money. Her sister's recent behavior was making that difficult. Sophia, I'm still hoping that our family can survive this, but we don't need you. You never come home unless you need something. Our mother has been so sick, but you were too busy partying to come see her. You don't care about anyone's feelings except your own. I'd advise you to walk out that door and not come back. We don't need you, Fiona said angrily. She wanted to drive Sophia out of the house for good. After all, any money Sophia earned, she spent, and nothing was put toward helping the family. In addition, Fiona had already set her sights on the family house. With Sophia out of the picture, when her mother died, the house would be hers. It was one more thing to help her build her fortune. Well, I'm not home every day, Sophia said. I know she's sick, but who are you to judge me? You're home every day, but you never take her to see a doctor. You just stay home and spend your money on makeup or expensive handbags instead of using it to take care of her. And it's not like it's helping make you beautiful. It's obvious. You're not getting any younger. It's no wonder Theo rejected you. Sophia had stopped spending time with her older sister years before. It was true that her sister was smarter than her, but all Sophia wanted to do was eat, drink, and have fun, things Fiona never wanted to do. So, over time, Sophia had become the target of Fiona's frustration and bullying. When they were younger, Sophia had thought that since they were sisters, there was nothing worth fighting about, especially since they were both dependent on their father. If their father had ever seen them argue, he would have kicked them both out of the house. It was for this reason Sophia tried to keep her temper in check around her sister. Now that their father had no money, Sophia felt that she no longer had to do that. She was sick of Fiona's harassment and was ready to fight back. Even though she knew that she was the cause of her family's situation, she didn't regret it. After all, she knew how they had felt about her before the incident. Who cares what they think of me now? She thought angrily. They won't be treating me any worse than before. At that moment, she only had one goal, and that was to destroy Hazel. It's Hazel's fault that we're destitute. If she hadn't insulted me in front of Theo and Bella, none of this would have happened, she decided. You don't need to be concerned with my affairs, Sophia continued. And as far as you're concerned, I think you need to do something besides moon over Theo Maynard. You know that Bella Sharp intends to marry him. Do you think Theo would choose you over a smart, successful businesswoman like her? I know Bella. She'll watch out for her own interests. In her mind, they are already together. Don't you think she's happy seeing your situation? It will just make it easier to get the man she loves. When Fiona thought of Bella, she grew furious. They were the same age and came from the same social circle. Yet whenever they were at an event together, everyone knew who Bella was, but no one could even remember Fiona's name. Fiona had long considered Bella as her enemy. She had spent her life trying to surpass Bella, but she had never succeeded. The disparity in strength between their two families was too great. Although they had both come from wealthy families, the Sharp family had always been more successful. And after Sophia's actions, there was no comparison at all. Once again, 
Sophia had succeeded in making her life plan more difficult 